Hi, my name is George Bursick. I'm the winemaker here at Jay Vineyards and Winery in beautiful Russian River Valley. Judy Jordan and I have been friends for a number of years, and uh, she has shared with me her ideals of what she wants to do uh, with the, with Jay Winery, what she wants to do with the wines, and so I've 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 really understood that for some time. It happens that uh, her philosophy and mine are are identically mirrored. We both share uh, the quest, the desire to make the finest wines uh, that we possibly can. When Judy and I talked about the concept of collaborating with my involvement here at Jay, I was just uh, overjoyed. I mean, it was, it was a thrill to be able to work with the soils and the vineyards that she had. Um, she had amassed a, an impressive uh, amount of vineyards. Uh, on such diverse soils that as a winemaker, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I get to use all these incredible new toys and, and new vineyards in, in, uh, in creating what I hope to be uh, some of the more memorable wines to be produced from this region. Well, my experience with, uh, in my winemaking career uh, has pretty much spanned every region within Northern California every county and every appellation within those regions. So I have a, a little bit of experience uh, making wine from, from Alexander Valley or Knights Valley or, or um, Napa Valley. And really what's, what's ex the most exciting to me that I've, I've had in, in my career is working exclusively with Russian River Fruit. Uh, the grapes grown there are so unique, the, the soil so unique, the terroir, the, um, the climatic exposure, everything is, is like nothing else in the world. Uh, it, there's just seems to be a purity of grapes. The, 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 the varietal character just seems to be just um, unobstructed by any other areas that uh, may be warmer than the Russian River. Um, very much of a European, kind of a Burgundian type of uh, uh, approach to uh, growing grapes. My philosophy's changed in the last 30 years of, of my involvement in this career. Uh, started out as, 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 as somewhat of a mechanical winemaker and, and I think as we all do until we learn our boundaries and what we can uh, what we can try in terms of different techniques and since then I've really developed a, uh, a style that really uh, honors um, the fruit the vineyards that honors uh, really simplicity and so my philosophy is really to make as complex and as integrated wines as possible, but without really a lot of manipulation, to really let Mother, mother Nature and uh, speak in terms of our fermentation, our wild fermentations, and in terms of how we uh, cultivate our, our grapes within the Russian River area. I've had the uh, fortune, uh, as well as the challenge, to, uh, to guide Jay's new direction uh, as, as a luxury brand and a luxury and a, and a leader in our category. And this comes with a little bit of, um, how I say, responsibility. We, we see that our consumers are more discriminating, they're more knowledgeable, they, they, they're worldly, they understand wine. To them, it's not just a, an everyday beverage, it's, an, it's, it's something special. It's something to be talked about, to be debated about. I love it, I, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not saying this is bad, it's a challenge, it's a great challenge to live up to their expectations because they know wine. They know just like, you know, if you're a, a car aficionado, you know cars, you know, you know Mercedes or you know, you know, McLarens or you know Bugattis or Aston Martins, I mean, you know cars. And so the same thing with wine, that, and that's the type of person that um, uh, I'm reaching to and that I, I interact with. It's, it's extremely fulfilling when I, I have you know, received accolades from, from somebody with this type of knowledge and this type of sophistication and who understands luxury brands and understands the uniqueness of what it takes to go to the luxury status. I mean, there's a lot of energy you have to put into it, and, and these people um, understand it and they really appreciate it.